Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Wybot. Welcome back once again to Civilization VI. Our archer's gonna get his ass kicked by the Egyptians. Potentially. And we're gonna heal our longboat there outside of friendly territory because we are the Vikings, we are Norway, and we can do that. Cool. So last time we uh, got into a war with Egypt and we did so again. Oh jeez, India has freaking caravels. <laughs> yeah. So we're trying this on uh, on epic speed for a change, and I'm not sure how well it's working out. We'll see. Anyway, we'll get our guys actually. Position them like so. We'll get our city number three down. Elsidun. I can't pronounce that, I'm sorry. Any districts we want to build here? Holy site, maybe. We will actually be within range. One, two, three. One, two, three. We'll be in range of three sea resources, so holy site's potentially a good option. Also, it would fit in well right here. Although this might be better. Yeah, this would be better. So sure, we'll go ahead, we'll buy that tile, we'll plop down a holy site just to clean the spot. And we'll maybe start getting some traders out. I think we're gonna build something else in here, like a monument or Probably a builder would be good. Yeah, I think a builder would be quite good. So you sneak in here. You attack. You run away. You can go ahead and delete the pin now. Congo's sending us a delegation. Very good, very nice. Um, we want to check this out. We want to make sure that the Egyptian settler's not back in the water where we can get them. He is. There we go. Took out that warrior. I believe there's still one more lurking around here in the fog of war. And we're still waiting on the shipbuilding uh, Eureka here. That should come in just one turn or... Yeah, it should come when we have the two galleys. Or the two long ships in this case. got the boost. We don't quite have it yet, so it's going to be like one more turn. And then we can embark our units. And political philosophy is fully ready now. Uh, I think I'm going to try doing some drama and poetry just to... Actually, we're going to do... Yeah, we'll still do drama and poetry first. We want to get the stay of church. It is useful, even though we didn't found a religion. And we'll get a traitor here. That seems like a pretty good idea. Um, this guy will send up north. And this guy will put over on the hill. So that's the same warrior. I assume they went west. Yep, there they are. turn. Uh, 
at Halvar, learn that India switched to oligarchy, okay. Our city state. All right, shipbuilding. Probably want to get celestial navigation. We're going to want lots of harbors, and it is fully eureka already. Roads have been upgraded for whatever good it'll do me. These guys can embark now. This guy can capture the settler, yes. And then we should be able to uh, secure our hold on our uh, home island here. This one right here, we're going to send him north. That archer can shoot from where he is. Very good. And because we're Norway, we can now go into deep water. Which actually gives us a lot of flexibility for city number three here. We can actually settle it down here. Where there is a ludicrous, ludicrous amount of uh, sea resources. And we could put down a stave church that would actually help a lot it would take a normally fairly worthless area and turn it into an incredible area i might do that that might be an idea anyway for now we can just completely circumvent the uh egyptians yeah let's drop one right here let's take full advantage of the new stave church just put it right on the edge of the uh, Polish continent. It'll be next to... Uh, it'll be right here. It'll get tons of everything, quite frankly. Finish that guy off. Let's turn... It's going to be an awfully long time till we get, uh, unless we get political philosophy, it's going to be an awfully long time till we can change our policies. Right now we're rocking conscription and chiefdom. Oh, those guys, right, they get bonuses for embarking and disembarking. That's going to be very helpful indeed. So let's take full advantage of those now that we've got them. Yeah, I was gonna settle like right around here, I think. This must be another city. It is indeed. In fact, it looks fairly vulnerable. And it has a harbor already. That is fantastic. All right, well, we know what John Curtin's secret agenda is, is that he doesn't like people who have small empires. And we are most definitely not piecing out with you. We just found a very vulnerable city that, uh, I would kind of like to make mine. Not to mention, we can also pillage from the sea. We can pillage those uh, sphinxes there from the ocean, which is pretty cool. Take those out. Um, yeah, let's move these guys up. Use our long ship to attack. Oh, well, they're trying to build the pyramids. All right, so there's their galley. Actually, I have two different attack paths for my uh, warships to hit them with. So that's going to be good. Just hit them with the scout. Why not? Oh, hello. I sure are keeping my longships busy here. And 
enough movement points to pillage, unfortunately. Alright, so let's get you guys over here. Can I buy another longship? No. Well, no. Still no. The answer is still no. Next turn. We might have to hard research governments. It might be worth it. Let's go back into this one right here. If we're going to be pillaging, maybe we'll get something other than faith. No. Too much to hope for. Oh, that's the Egyptian war chariot. Mm. It's not necessarily something we want to mess with. Why is that a danger? Oh, that's why it's a danger. Okay, well, we'll stay in deep water then. Admiral. Interesting. Let's move them over there to link up. Uh, you just go on alert for now. You come over here, maybe pillage the mine as well. Okay, this guy can come off and land. We'll get another city set up here. And we'll eventually have access to all these sea resources, which is why this is not a terrible city. Let's get started with the monument. Move that just a little closer to Thebes. What sort of combat strength do these things have? 30. That's very good. That's something I can live with. Yeah, I guess we'll, since we're in the middle of a war, we'll just uh, hard research the uh, political philosophy here. Suck it up and hard research it. Alright, so that's not going to work out very well for us. We can, however, land our warriors. We can pillage. Get some more science. Complete celestial navigation. Probably can uh, start getting some of these dudes out to sea. It's not worth attacking yet. I really want to bop it with the ship, but it's not worth it yet. Oh, our uh, campus is finally done. Excellent. We're going to need to defend that, though. Let's get started on currency for now. I still don't think... Oh, we do have tea leaves over there. We're going to need that. Or tobacco, rather. But for now, I'd, I think it's okay if I just work on currency. Seems good enough. So if we move our warriors up here, we'll be well out of range of Rancadet, right? Yeah, we will be. 
Oh. Well, this is... Yep. It's thinking we can attack via C when we can't. All right. Cool. Well, move you up. Move you onto the hill. Uh, you just fortify there for now. Thank you. And uh, let's transfer you to another city. Probably this one right here. We don't want to bop you. That'll be a major defeat. That'll be a major victory, though. Sure, we'll bop you. Choose production in our capital. Let's go ahead and get that blasted monument, finally. Next turn. Scout. So we can bop the city a few times if we want. We can also coastal raid and just pillage some faith in the process. And we lost one of our units, that sucks. Okay, so we'll refuse for peace deal. We don't want to peace out. No, thank you. Hmm. I really want to get that ship out of there. I'm not sure how to bait him out. You know what I can do? I can pillage this. And that does nothing. Okay, so that would have healed. All right. Well, uh, we can pew, can shoot that guy down. You know what? Let's just try attacking. Let's see what happens. And we'll send you to the highest production. Okay, so we'll send you to the capital. Begin the trade route. In there addition to bringing rich. Just fortify till healed for now. It's a shame about that warrior. I would have liked to get a stranglehold on the city. It's going to be a lot harder without him. Well, we can get a major victory here. We'll be a little low on health. Sure, I want to check what I'm dealing with here. That's religious screen, domination overall, domination victory. Yeah, her strength is greatly diminished. So let's actually use the archer to hit the city. Use you to move up. We are safe after all. Good. Uh, so I guess we're going to be moving our archers around and just bombarding them from all directions. We'll just hit the city again with our long ships. Get it down to half health. Let's throw a few turns into iron working since there's two sources of iron here. Not a lot. But just enough to get to the point of eureka it. Oh, I think we just met a third city-state. <laughs> nice! Thanks, whoever went to war with me. So, I suppose that we will go back and uh, finish up drama and poetry. Get ourselves a new government. Uh, probably Oligarchy. All land melee units gain plus four combat strength. It's not as amazing as you'd think with the Vikings. But, uh... Mm, actually, no, I'm not so sure on that. A autocracy might be better. 
Capital gains, plus one to all yields. Maybe this one, actually. Maybe Classical Republic, even though we're at war. We don't really have a lot of land melee units to take advantage of uh, that bonus. So for now, we're going to scrap that. We're going to throw in Urban Planning. Our wild card's going to be Military One. It's going to be for uh, bonus production to... Uh, Classical and Ancient Era units. And, uh... Let's see, Diplomatic Policy slot. Uh, we'll do double Envoys for the first Envoy. And what is the other uh, economic slot we want? You know what, let's go Ilkum for now. I think that's probably the best bet. Yeah, let's do Ilkum. You just move over there onto the floodplain. That is floodplain, right? Yep. Cool. Uh, you go ahead and pillage. Okay, well, you didn't heal, but that's fine. Oh, you can actually take a promotion. Very good. Let's give you plus one movement. That seems good. And we'll give you plus one movement as well. Nice. And next turn, that city should be ours, actually. That's cool. And she's praying for her soul. Uh, no, we don't want peace. No, thank you. No peace. We want your cities. Actually, we might need to run back in here and almost. Well, we'll I think we got this city this turn. If I can manage it, I would like to steal another one of her settlers. That would be amazing. You know what? Maybe if we do this, that's a major victory. It's a major victory, but not enough. Yeah, let's try this way. Yeah, it's ours. Cool. And we got a functional harbor in the process. And she cannot land anything on here thanks to the cliffs. Fortify, of course, we're keeping the city. And to choose production. Wow, everything's so expensive to repair. Start with the lighthouse. Or start with the monument, rather. War can only bring us loss. Loss of lives. Loss of productivity. Loss of our very humanity. Well, it triggered his agenda. He doesn't like all the war. Oh, what's she trying to do now? Mont Saint Michel? Looks like it. Let's go ahead and bop them. Uh, you guys go ahead and take the next promotion in this line. Aerostrong. You guys are 15 combat strength. I'm not 100% sure you won't get one-shotted. You shouldn't, though. Mm. I don't know what's there, though. Well, let's send our uh, ship out to explore for now. Put you on alert. Move you up here next turn. So they're running back for now. Back here and attack the scout. Ah, 
Ah, they have a harbor there as well. Very nice. Oh, the Egyptians have landed there. <laughs> I'm sorry you feel so strongly about that. Oh, they're allies. That's too bad. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna need to get some stuff back here, actually. That's unfortunate. What's also unfortunate is that. <laughs> Yeah, that's highly, highly unfortunate. Like, I'm gonna have to buy an archer in a sec. Unfortunate. Friendship with Pedro ran out. Got a bunch of people denouncing me now. Oh, Tundra. Hello. An interesting position for Egypt to be in. Desert to the south, tundra to the north. Hmm. Alright, let's uh, give this a shot, folks. Let's move this guy in. Let's move this one in. And let's move this one in. And we'll move the archers back up. Oh, thank you for letting me know I can do that. So I guess I'm low on amenities then. It would look that way. I don't think they attacked my dude at all. Cool. That is good. All right, so when you're sieging a city, the rule of thumb is to pillage all the improvements, but don't you dare touch the... Uh... Okay, I can coastal raid this uh, Egyptian builder here. Sorry. The rule of thumb when besieging a city is that you can kill, you can pillage all the improvements, but you don't want to do the districts because those are doing that would harm you later. Districts take forever to rebuild and it's even worse on uh, epic pace here, which is what we're playing on. It gets downright painful. Okay, apparently you can't shoot from there. That's a shame. Oh, look at all the wonderful things they have. Okay. Well. Speaking of uh, pillage districts. Uh, sure, that's a good enough deal. We'll take it. You can be my friend. You're already my friend. You can continue to be my friend. All right, our warrior got the crap kicked out of him by the uh, heavy chariot there. We're gonna be able to uh, pillage or raid that guy, get him into, oh, hello. That's a really, really worthless city. Why on earth would they ever set up a city there? Alright. Coastal raid! Nice! It actually pulls it to the uh, longship's location. That's awesome. This guy's so freaking dead. That sucks. Yeah, there's no way around it. He's toast. 
So let's pillage that, get some science at least. This guy's probably going to be dead too for doing this, but I want to at least get uh, some of those defenses down. You just sleep in the city for now. Uh, you move up. Choose production here. Um, probably a good idea to get some walls. Actually, I like you where you are, so you stay there. I probably should be dealing with this barbarian encampment. Because they can multiply, the Egyptians can not. Alright, so we're going to refuse that deal for now. Oh, yeah, if you're going to give me gold for open borders, why not? Alright, so somehow our... Uh, Ah, the archer was a more tempting target. That's how that worked. That archer actually is a really, really tempting target. So much so that I am going to have to pull him right back out. Let you fortify up. You took quite the beating there. So you're actually going to heal next turn, or this turn. Move you up here. <laughs> nice. Uh, I guess probably get some, uh, get a warrior. We need something else out there. I think that the risk of going to half health with this guy is not worth it. Push him off. Yeah, we're gonna pull that guy out. It's just too risky. your turn next all right so we have an awful lot of archers here that they may want to attack instead wishful thinking they'll do both <laughs> my liege we have an envoy got an envoy at our disposal uh let's send him over to kasumi that, get our health back. Can actually go down here now and attack. Well, we can't actually attack, I guess. And that'll get rid of all the defenses. Perfect. Three cities, we have four, five. We're doing okay, actually. Probably need to throw down a cut in the next uh, turn or two. Actually, I'd like to take rank it out. If I can take Cleopatra's capital, that would be a huge... That would be big. I think we can do it. Without too much effort. Yeah, 
Let's just bop the city with the longship. Why not? Alright, research. What do we want? Holy education. Or machinery. So we'll go ahead with horseback riding, even though I don't think we've ever found any horses. Yeah, none here. None over here so far. None here either. Twenty-seven gold per turn, that's kinda tempting. No. No, we're not doing that though. Might give you a bit of a reprieve once we take your capital. that out. Send the archer back to deal with the rest. Hope this doesn't consume all of his movement points because that could be a big problem. And it did. That's unfortunate. I think we can move this guy back out. So I guess we just continue to sit and wait. Friendship with uh, this guy is expired. Let's send a new delegation. Apparently we have to renew that. Not ready to accept our friendship. Uh, we're in a good relationship, though. How about Brazil? <laughs> He's delighted to be friends with us. He thinks it's great. All right, so we'll give this a couple more turns uh, with Rain Cadet. And if it takes too long, then uh, I may throw down a cut and. Uh, Focus on it next time. Caraco is considerably stronger than them. I wonder if I move this guy here, how screwed is he? He just loses a turn worth of movement. Same with pretty much everybody except for the weakened archer. So you, you can come over here. You could actually pillage that. This is a fresh builder. He's got three charges. Bop the city. I guess fortify heal for you. And we're dealing with, with swordsmen. Mm hmm. 26 turns to get a settler with this. So that's going to be an interesting fight. Nuclear weapons, you say? Really, Gandhi? What's a nuclear? This is 550 BC, Gandhi. What's a nuclear? I don't care how advanced you are. You're, you're only getting 40 science per turn. You do not have nuclear weapons yet. All right, so this is going to be painful. I think it's time for my capital to get some walls. Repair that. Go 
Postal raid. Yeah, sure, why not? We should probably get those repaired at some point. No, we're not taking that deal. Oh crap! This is gonna hurt a lot. You know what would actually be better than walls? A ship that could shoot from the ocean. You know what? I think I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna let them come to me. Then they'll slowly wear themselves out on the uh, city. That's the... at least the goal. And we'll uh, switch out our policies so that we're stronger against barbarians again. And grab the mine there, because that's a big priority. Alert. I think it's time for you to get another settler out. Attack with this guy, and I think we can get the capital right here. I think we got it. Yes! We got a boost to cartography for having, I guess, two harbors. And we will definitely keep the city. And we'll start by repairing the monument. Continue to repair things with this worker. city and I think that's gonna do it for this episode guys those chariots are pretty scary I will admit but they can't capture cities so that's gonna do it for this episode guys just bop this guy with the archer I think they'll be okay down there You get in the city, you still can't attack. That's frustrating. That guy's got Aerostorm. So yeah, that's going to do it for this episode, folks. I hope you uh, are enjoying the series so far. We've got ourselves a few cities now. I'm just going to get... Actually, we'll choose the Civic next time. So we've got this. We're able to do some damage to these swordsmen, which is good. We may lose the warrior. And we'll have a quadrim out in a few turns after that. Um, we may piss out with piss out. We may peace out with Cleopatra pretty soon. I'd like to grab that settler if I can manage it, but uh, I mean Rank Cadet is a much better city than Thebes. So it would be nice to get those uh it'd be nice to get those cities and just then peace out and be done with it. Also we're gonna have to send some workers down here to give this area a little bit of love. But uh yeah just a quick city count. We're at six cities now. Cool. Well, that's gonna do it for this episode folks. I'm sorry these are running so long. I'm actually trying to target them at half half an hour and they're consistently being like um, 15 minutes over time so like one and a half the amount of time but uh, anyway that's gonna do it for this episode folks uh, we are gonna mess with this a little bit we'll do it next time thanks for watching guys I hope you're enjoying this series I will see you guys next time bye bye